and what other town in New Zealand is going to have hand-painted road signs? Pretty awesome, eh? G'day my friends, how are we all going? Today I've got a bit of a mystery for you. I am in a town in the South Island of New Zealand. They got in trouble in this town for naming their hotel a big brand name hotel overseas. Can you guess who I'm talking about? Anyway guys, I'll tell you at the end of the video. Same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. And let's have a look around this mystery town. Let me give you a little clue my friends. The name of that street there is what got them into trouble. That there is that there. Let's rewind to 1910. Where the spirited little town built a special hotel pub and restaurant just 25 kilometers up the valley from Greymouth. This pub, sitting on Hart Street, which interestingly leads to Hilton Street, holds a story of strength, rebellion, and a bunch of great people. Now let's zoom into 1992, and this little town is facing off against the big shots at the Hilton Hotel Worldwide Corporation. Somehow they think this little town has stolen their name. And wouldn't you know it, surprise, surprise, a cease and desist letter shows up in the pub's mailbox. But guess what? This town doesn't back down. No way! No giving up here. The clever hotel operators, sticking to the town's vibe, see a chance for free publicity. And you know what their smart move was? By simply adding the word formally to the pub's name, just like that, this town becomes a must visit on every tourist map. Of course, everybody now wants to come and see the pub that basically gave the finger to the corporate entities. <laughs> Imagine the sneaky grin on the townspeople as they realize they can still use the same name, only a little different. This is not just a pub or just a spot to have a quick drink. It's literally a symbol of the town's bold spirit. And with one little word, this town shouts out its freedom, proving that even when things get tough, it stands tall and writes its own awesome story. I love this town, guys. You know which town it is yet? Have you figured it out yet, guys? Now this here is the hotel that got in all sorts of trouble a few years back. Notice it says formerly the Hilton, the formerly because they don't want to get sued. We have another Kiwi upper pole. This is really cute, this little place. And we have a museum of sorts. And we have another one of those huge bicycle wheels up the back here, guys. And what looks like little cabins. I don't know what they are. Coal history. It's a coal town, guys. Seafarers strike. 1890. One thing he didn't do was go on strike. Socialism. The wild men. United workers. Divided we stand. You know, united we stand, divided we fall. They look very serious, don't they, with their suit and ties and their collars on. It's another clue for you. Definitely coal country. An old coal wagon. It's just on the side of the road. It even has its own church, but I think it's been converted into a house. And what other town in New Zealand is going to have hand-painted road signs? Pretty awesome, eh? Check it out, check it out, check it out. We've got Kiwis up power poles here. <laughs> and you can also smell the coal in the air. You know how you smell the coal, burning coal? We've got an old, the old bus shed. Gifts and crafts. We've got a gallery over there. We've got a pick and a shovel up a lamppost. Must be gold mining country. Well, you've got another little gift shop over here. We have a food and takeaway shop. Now this is Hilton Street in the 1920s. Now can you guess what town we're in? We've got a beautiful little inn here. Look at that, isn't that nice? Isn't that awesome? And we've got a really cute general store, guys. Isn't that cute or is that cute? Must be a gold mining town, more gold buckets. It's like we've even got a little camping ground on the corner and right in town. Awesome. So we have a bar here, workman's club, members and visitors welcome. Wow, it's a cool colour too, isn't it guys? Look at the cool colour on that. We've got a Tui up a lamppost. 
Is this a cute place or is this a cute place? Look at this my friends. Is that cute or is that cute? Now that must be about the biggest bicycle wheel I've seen in my life. Let's do a Pete's Lou review. Watch one guys. This one? Why not? Figured out where we are yet? Wow, these nice toilets. And you know what guys? They smell real good as well. Look at this. We've got soap, we've got water, we've got bog roll, and we've got a really clean toilet. And look at that. It's just been cleaned by a little bit. Awesome. Looks like they even clean the toilets in the rain in this mystery town. Have you figured out where it is yet? Let's have a look around here, guys. Now, this might give you a clue. It is a great big gold dredge bucket. Hey, look at that. And we've got a campsite here. We've got a playground for the kids. It looks like we've got gas barbecues here as well. <laughs> is this awesome or is this awesome? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's cool. And look at how clean they are, guys. Look at how clean they are. Look at this. This is as clean as a whistle as well. Hey, well, I'm impressed so far. Look at that. Beautiful place to come and camp. Got another cute looking loo in the bush over here. Look here, my friends. They even make their own salami, believe it or not. And I've actually had the salami from here, and it's pretty bloody good, even if I say so myself. What do we got here? We got an old post office established in 1910. Cool, well, what? <laughs> here we go, look at this. When the mine closed in 1964, houses were worthless. The town should have died. But what town are we in, guys? So guys, did you guess where we were in the South Island of New Zealand? Yippee! Black Ball! The town that time forgot. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah! Did you guess it right? I bet you bloody didn't. Now you're saying that you guessed it because you know, eh? Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. Once again, I want to thank all you guys who brought me a coffee. It's really, really awesome of you. There's a link in the description if anyone else would like to help the channel along. I'll put a couple of videos on the side for you to watch. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. And I bet you didn't know where we were. <laughs>